Yeah, time to make like Bruce Lee and kick it. We are here in the Birds Lounge. <laughs> John Clark joins us now. JC, always a pleasure to bring your Good knowledge see you. here. Good All right, let's dive in. Eagles and Vikings squaring off week two at the link Monday night football. How wild will that environment be, John? Well, I think to have A.J. Brown on this team and yep. that offense with Jalen Hurts, finally the offense is whole, you know, uh, I think the place is going to go wild. And I think maybe if they add another cornerback, you know, I think I think the place is going to be popping. Yeah, still still some some things to handle, some issues to right, address right, with right. the birds, uh, particularly with that defensive side of the ball. But coming off that four win season in 2020, the Eagles didn't have much primetime exposure last year. Do you see the Eagles as a national draw this season? Look, last year was the first time NBC Sunday Night Football didn't have the Eagles on. They've had Eagles Cowboys in a primetime game. The NFL has Absolutely. every single year wow. since Sunday Night Football came on wow, the air. That's a great nugget. They're back. Right. They're back. Right. Because A.J. Brown is back. Uh, maybe Eagles Packers. Would that work at the link? Would that be a good Sunday Night game? Eagles Cowboys is always the one they want. Big markets. Nothing sells like the Dallas Cowboys on national well, TV. I mean, maybe Carson Wentz and, and but him being in Washington. On the road, yeah. Might be, you know, that might be a, a draw. Oh, right. back home, that's right. Right. Yeah. They got Jahan Dotson in the draft, the Penn State guy. Now, Barrett, you were on some great teams in your playing days, no doubt. How much did you want to be in the national spotlight in prime time? Well, when you're prime time, everybody's watching you. And right. that's the big thing. When you got everybody watching you, you're that team that they're sitting back home and watching you on the two. You want to go out there and get, put your Sunday's best out there. You want to give them what they come to see. And that's exactly what you do when you're playing on Monday Night Football. So, yeah, you want that type of hype. You want to be able to get yourself known. I remember back in the day when I was playing with Pittsburgh and I wasn't playing too much. I make sure I was sitting next to the coach. <laughs> right. I'd be standing next to coach. Yeah, yeah, coach. <laughs> BC. Yeah, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. You know, th now, that's how you play. Now, did you you got to get your face on there. Did you get the sweaty palms at all or, you know, have to – Oh, absolutely. Uh, relieve yourself before Ab the game Absolutely, all absolutely. All that. I, I didn't, I didn't throw up or anything. Yeah I, didn't, <laughs> yeah, I didn't do the throwing up or anything. But, you know, you still get goosebumps and everything. Go out there early. You know, run around a little bit. You know, just take in the ambiance of being out there, you know. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? All that, man. <laughs> you get see, all that going. He's man. ready for prime time. Back. Right, right. Him flashing back. <laughs> John, I would love to get a peek one day at your frequent flyer, Miles. You are always on the road with the birds for sure. So let's take a look at their road opponents. Give me the week one destination you most want to head to, John. I've got it here for all Eagles fans. The Chicago Bears, Ooh. because get them early. Chicago, right. September, right. In September good, right. is beautiful. You do not want to be there in November or December. And if you leave that up for a second, I think the big thing here is look at the road games. Your only real cold games could possibly be at Chicago or the division games because Dallas, Detroit, Arizona, Arizona. Indianapolis, Houston, all in domes. Right. Yeah. So I think that is a big break for the Dude. Eagles. You want to you you want to have that offense on the turf. Yes, yes. You don't want to be out in the cold November, December with you trying to throw the ball around with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith going down the field. Yeah, and plus a couple, you know, most of those teams on our list, they suck. So when you play in a team that sucks out, you know, later on, you want that type of, you don't want that type of atmosphere. They really don't want to win. What it. about the Eagles running game? That could do well in the cold weather, right, B? Yeah, it, well, you, running games carry anywhere. You, yeah. you, can, you can have, you know, Playoff quality football if you can run the ball consistently. I think they're going to throw the ball a little bit more now. Well, AJ, yes, of yeah. course. Yeah, you Let's have those Jalen, Jalen Hurts improves that completion percentage for sure. Now, John, you were covering the Sixers game last night. You snapped a photo of the Jumbotron showing Devontae Smith in the house. He was enjoying the game. They mistakenly labeled him as former Eagle. Huh. Then Smith with the classic response with, damn, got fired on my day off channeling the movie Friday. But, but isn't that Greg Ward sitting there as well? Like, come on, you got to mention Greg Ward. But, yeah, this um, this didn't go well. Come on, man. That, that, that's, a, that's a big time violation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what happens, you guys know TV business. Like, if, if you're, like, running quick, the Chiron operator, like, they'll say, I think, uh, Brady I like, Brooks, yeah. maybe I like Freddie that you're Mitchell. letting him off the hook. I they like that you're former, letting him off the And then they're just like, we forgot to change it. Right, right. Well, trying to it might have been, a, yeah, it might have been a rookie happened. guy, a young guy, or yeah. somebody, I mean, or, 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 or a woman. You know, it just might have been somebody young, just didn't catch it. You know, that's all. It all blew right. up, though. I, I'll keep my mouth shut. Something else blew up. I can remember being an intern. Sixers game last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we won't talk about with that uh, with the Sixers Hold game. Hold on, let me. <laughs> now, they had Eagles new covers, Jordan Davis, Nicobe Dean, and Hassan Reddick ring the bell prior to game three. Uh, you were there, John. What was the ovation like for these guys? Oh, it was huge, especially when they crushed the bell like you saw. <laughs> 
Jordan get in there and he not just, he didn't ring the bell, he crushed the bell and people went crazy. Hassan Reddick back on watch Jordan Davis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> almost broke that thing. So yeah, anytime you have Eagles pregame ringing the bell for a Sixers game, we love that more than any other city is our team support. No question, no question. And you see the players, the players be looking at it too. You know, the Sixers players, they enjoy that atmosphere. Yeah. They enjoy getting hype, man. By the way, Tyler Hero had a layup or a dunk, and he went right in the face of Jordan Davis yeah, who was and Nicobe Dean and Hassan Reddick, like pointed at them and ran back down. <laughs> Jordan Davis got out of his chair, got up and started laughing. He couldn't believe it. And then he tweeted out, scoreboard. <laughs> right, there you go, there you go. Think about how cool the environment here is in Philly with all the four major sports, the athletes going to each other's games, obviously Mike Trout coming back in town, being at the Eagles games and whatnot. It's unlike a lot of other places. City of brotherly love. They yeah. all support each other. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, uh, Barrett, if they get A.J. Brown for game six, will that bring the house down here on Thursday in South Philly? Woo! <laughs> Let's make that happen. Make that, A.J., we need you here. We'll go ahead and finish it off. I say we're going to win tomorrow, and then we'll finish it off here at home. A.J., ring the bell, baby. No. No, no? don't have him ring the bell. Seems like any time they have a big-name bell ringer, some, they some lose. Some letdowns, some big Remember, letdowns. Remember, Joel came out game one against the Hawks last year with Triple the wrestler. H. Yeah. Triple H. They lost. You don't want a big-name bell ringer. When I rung the bell, we won. You well, say what does I'm that say? Big, what is oh, that? There it is. Then. Sorry, man. Wow. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think Barrett really wants to be a professional wrestler. That woo, that Ric Flair woo is. is Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I do a better Randy Savage. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Dig it. The macho man Randy Savage. Nah. The toast of the coast. The best of the West. The beast of the East. Uh huh. Dig That's it. what you get. Dig it. Yo. Birds uh, huddle, baby. Nah, That's what John, you get. That's John's you got get. a leg up. He's got some crazy wrestling stories that he could share with us. Uh, what what you going to do when Hulkamania <laughs> runs wild on you, brother? Uh, hey, this is off the rail. Sorry. John, we'd <laughs> be remiss if we didn't ask you about Ray Didinger's retirement. That'll focus us for sure. Uh, do you have a favorite moment with Ray that you remember can recall for us? I mean, there's nothing better than reality check when he yelled right. out on the air. But <laughs> seeing him and his son together, yeah. Yeah. winning the Super Bowl, Dave. it just son connects you yeah. with your dad and the emotions of living in this city all your life and waiting for the people that are older than you and your right. family to right. see the Eagles finally win a Super Bowl. So that was really special because it was human. And, and Ray is the nicest human ever. Yeah, no absolutely. Question. So yeah. it's great to see that moment. He dropped some tears there when he uh, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl and he hugged his son. He'll probably Probably drop some tears here on this couch. As we mentioned previously, we'll have Ray on tomorrow for the entire 30 minutes of Bird's Huddle from 6 to 6.30. John Clark, thanks so much for joining Ray us. Ray is a legend. A legend, straight legend.